There you guys are. What are you doing all the way out here? Wait, wait. Hypnos? You're... You have kids. How long have you had kids? Oh, is the cat out of the bag? I wish you had told me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Hypnos. Fantasos, Sathya, sir. We should give them a moment. Agreed. Good luck, Dad. Yes, great idea. Good luck to the both of you. Be honest with me, Hypnos. Clearly, Forbedor has strong feelings about this. Apparently, they've been a witness to our treatment towards you for a long time. I can't speak for any other other than myself, but I know I've been harsh. I know that I always meant well, but... It's fine, Thanatos, really. I'm used to it. I'm the family disappointment. It's a tough job, but someone's gotta do it. Right? That... that's not right, Hypnos. You shouldn't be used to that, and you... There shouldn't be a family disappointment. That's... We really failed you, didn't we? You could never fail me, Thanatos. It's just how things turned out. And, well, I should have told you about my kids. I was just scared, you know? Scared for them, being my kids and all. I didn't want anyone to think differently of them, and I guess I... I didn't think the family would approve. Clearly I have. And I don't blame you for being scared, or assuming that of us. I'm sorry, Hypnos. As I said before, I can't speak for anyone other than myself. So I'm not sure how Mother Nyx will react should you tell her this. But I won't shun your kids simply because they're yours. They're family. Your family. I'll do better to be less hard towards you. I don't think I'm ready to tell Mom. I don't think I'll ever be ready, but still. And uh, for what it's worth, I accept the apology. I'm sorry you had to meet them like this. Bobiter especially. They really like you. You're like their idol. It's why they dress like that and everything. So don't take what they say too harshly, or any of them really. They're just protective. If you ever decide to tell her, you have my support. And I'm glad you accept my apology, Hypnos. It's fine. This conversation has been a long time coming. My only regret is that we didn't do this sooner. Which is entirely my fault for avoiding this. And you, to some degree. I'm flattered they see me as such, though. It's still a lot to take in, that you have three children, and that this whole time, I had no idea they existed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kinda, you know, scared. Sorry your twin is such a coward, but this is going much better than I thought. I thought you were going to, I don't know, call me an idiot again or something and then storm off before I could explain myself. But hey, we're talking and none of that is happening. That's a win in my book. Do you want to meet them properly this time? You're not a coward for trying to protect yourself and your children. You have every reason to assume that that's how I'd react. Yes, I'd like that. Great, good. I think you'll like them. They're good kids. So, uh, shall we? Yes. Sorry if I'm interrupting, but is everything okay out here? Yep, everything is a-okay. So it's safe to come out then. Yes, Zag. It's safe to come back out. The children, too. Hey, we're gods, too, you know. Just accept that we're like babies to them, practically. Everything work out, then? It sure did. Now come on, you three. Properly introduce yourselves to your Uncle Thanatos. 